Okay friends, this is the final projector that I built within 2500 rupees. You can make it very easily. With this projector, you can project a maximum display of 120 inches. This is very weak. It has a full HD resolution, even bright enough and a solid picture quality. This video is sponsored by JLCPCB. JLCPCB always think of customer convenience, for which JLCPCB has came up with SMT Assemble service. If you use SMT Assemble when you order your PCB, you can save your time and also get all the part you are using in your project 100% genuine and with perfect soldering. I think SMT service is a great option for your PCB. There is also more benefits such as 3D printing, variety of color of PCB, maximum 6 layer PCB and many more. So don't waste any more time, today upload your PCB and enjoy. In the previous video I mentioned that I am going to use a 7 inch tablet as the image source. It is that, ok friends without wasting any more time, let's open it and take out all the necessary thing. Ok finally this is my tablet's display but even with this display it is still not possible to make a projector. This display has to be open to collect the LCD panel. Ok so be it, that's fine. And finally here you can see this is my final LCD panel in which the image is created, which is intense light in our projector will pass through this LCD. But there are some problem here too. If you look closely, then you can see there is a black polarizer on this LCD panel. Its function is to make the pixel visible. And due to the polarizer, the light cannot pass easily. But commercial projectors do not have a such a dark polarizer. So our projector may not be very bright. And I am pretty sure you remember that I used this wooden frame to hold the freshener lens in my previous video. But it is soft enough and bent easily and that somehow I did not feel natural to me. For which I changed it and used this solid MDF wood. See, it is hard enough. Even you can see my LCD will sit nicely here. After installing this LCD I stick it with two side tape. Ok, let's keep the LCD aside and look this is the main structure of my projector where there are a light and two fan for cool it and I drill some hole in the back of this structure even some hole in the heat sink to make it cool faster. Whatever. Do you remember I used a boost converter in my previous video episode to power the light? Where I selected 36 volt and my light were shining brightly enough. Even also you saw in my previous video that I ordered some PCBs. And I didn't say what PCB it is. It is a normal boost converter and another one my fan will spin depending on the temperature of my heatsink. So I will remove every part one by one from a normal boost converter. Maybe you are thinking what speed is that. Here using a normal boost converter solve all problem. Ah definitely you are right yes you can use it in your case. But I love to make my own prototype for my project. Ok, anyway this is my final board, I have made two such pieces like that. So without wasting any more time, let's connect these two boards to my projector. This is the logic board that was inside my tablet. See here, there are three switches. The first one is power button and the next two are volume up and down. 
So to control those three switches, I will use three big switches here. Here you can see this is the front structure of my projector into which I will mount these three switches. Also as you can see I have added a USB hub through which I will connect my mouse and keyboard even external input source like USB. I am going to use this socket here for USB communication. Maybe you know how TG cable work. That way I would use it. But here's the problem that is 5V does not came out from this phone at all. For that I will use a buck converter to provide proper power for all USB which will produce 24V to 5V. See here, this is air ventilation, but uh, because of those hole, the light will come out very easily. So I will add a structure on the outside to prevent the light from coming out. Ultimately this is our lens system, here I use 4 nut and bolt so that I can adjust the focus of my lens as I want. You will find the link of these lenses in the description box. Here I will use a mirror which I will place at 45 degree angle because all image will go through this mirror into my lens. Finally here is our projector. But now I don't want to show you anything special about this projector. Hopefully you can figure out the rest yourself. Okay, now time to let's see how the picture quality of this projector. Here you can see the lights are not completely turned off in my room. So night lamp are running and see the picture quality. Fairly okay but not as good as I expected. I told you the reason first. And I hope you remember I told you the reason first. And see the picture quality. The projector has now produced 110 inch display that is very sharp and solid. If you turn on a 40 watt LED tube light, it look a bit like this. And if you turn the light off, it's really bright. You will feel like you are watching LED TV. So guys, this is for today's video. I hope you can learn something new from this video. If you don't like this video then definitely you can dislike it and if you like it then please subscribe to my channel. See you in the next one.